I love my mini camera, but shooting on this is 10 times better. Hi, um, why is my voice so deep? <coughs> I've woken up every morning for the past like two weeks with a snuffy nose and a cough. I don't have COVID and I don't, like I, it's annoying me. Today I'm going to see the Black Eyed Peas in Galway, which is like such a bonus because every concert ever is in Dublin. Bar like Ed Sheeran came to Galway once and it was like literally the Pope was here, like it was a bit a bigger deal than that. Um, I don't know why I use that as an example, but anyways. Yeah, so I just started with the shower, washed off my fake tan. I haven't fake tanned in so long and I really miss it. Like now looking at this, I, except it kind of went a bit weird here. Um, what's that about? But it just makes such a difference to my life. It, like it's so bad, but I do need it. So I'm going to take you along and see me getting ready and stuff because you all really care about that. <coughs> And yeah, I'll take you along to the concert and stuff. I'm actually going, um, because I got tickets, uh, through This Is Galway and Rise Live. So thank you very much for that. I uh, really appreciate it. That's like my dream because I love concerts. So I'm just back from drying my hair. I actually have no idea what I'm doing with it. For some reason in my head, I did know what I was doing. But then I was like, wait, what is it again? Maybe something like this will go with my outfit. Yeah, will we try that or does that look really kiddy? Or do we do a little Hayley Biebs moment? I think I'm gonna go with that one. And then I'm gonna do my makeup. Every time, like what is with the dad sneeze? Why is it so dramatic? Or something like this, but I just don't know how I feel about size fringe. I kind of like it though. No, I, you know what, I'm not Irish to do all that flick stuff with my hair. I literally have hours. It is only quarter past eleven, half eleven. But do I make a little getting ready after all? Because it like, hear me out. I know it's half eleven and it's like not okay to drink at this time. But like, if I just have one now, and like after all is basically like orange juice, so it's kind of breakfast vibes. I think I will. So I'm back with my after all. I did get a look of my dad. I wasn't very impressed. So nice. That's the worst thing about like concerts and events and stuff. I'm like not a beer or cider gal. They make me severely ill. Oh, don't tell me I have to go downstairs again for my charger. Like I'm so not in the mood. I want to do something like this for my makeup. Only problem. Oh my god, why is my hand shaking so much? I'm just so nervous with the black eyed bees. If you want to start, I'm not going to make this like a full makeup tutorial because. I understand that no one cares for that anymore um, but I'm just gonna chit chatter away as I go along and you'll see me get progressively better looking recently I have been like really into the song Prima Donna by Marina and the Diamonds that was like my shit growing up when I grew when I was growing up so three songs that stick out to me is Number one, Girlfriend by Avril Lavigne. I remember being probably six years old at most and being in the back garden with my little pink radio and I had that on CD and I would just replay the song and I would dance around to it like for hours, which in hindsight does quite show how I became who I am today. My question is, does the word prima donna have anything to do with Madonna? Or is it like a thing? Should I look it up or should I wait until someone tells me? I'm gonna look it up because I don't have patience. Five hours later. I sense that it would have to have something to do with Madonna because I don't think Madonna's like a thing before Madonna was a thing. I didn't expect that. The leading soprano in an opera is the prima donna. Italian for leading lady. As an insult, prima donna implies that the person under discussion is egotistical, demanding, and doesn't work well as part of the team. I don't really take that as an insult, to be honest. So Madonna, is Madonna's name actually Madonna? I think it is, so I wonder what she called Madonna because everyone thought she was gonna be like a leading lady. They really manifested that for her, didn't they? We're gonna talk about the black eyed peas and how I got a feeling it's gonna go off. 
but that song like is a banger still when did that come out like 2010 or 11 and to this day it is just like imagine it live like that's a song that you would this is running out and look it looks full the Nars concealer it runs out so quickly like it is amazing but it just puts me off it because I don't have the coin to buy this every second month even though I've had this a while anyway sorry that's not what I was talking about but no I'm really excited and where's the love love that song pump it there's so many like bangers that you just forget is them I'm very excited I think it's going to be like a real like party concert which I'm not very used to I always like concerts that I usually go to I go because I am severely obsessed with the artist and so I don't like drink or anything because I am on the job I'm queuing up to get close I'm preparing my emotions so that I don't go into severe breakdown and things like that so but I just I just don't because that that's not like my do you know, people go to concerts for like fun and for a night out? I don't. Like I said, I go for my life. I woke up this morning and I was not feeling like P. Diddy. I haven't gone to the gym all week because I've had like severe neck pain. As usual, like I just suffer with my neck. Anyways, I sound like I'm 81. But I actually do. And like I like going to the gym. It's not that I'm like being lazy or anything. Like if I was, I would tell you that. No, but I actually like going to the gym, especially in summer because it makes me feel like oh my god, I swear to god, since five seconds of summer when I got a chest infection and like lost my voice and tonsillitis and stuff, um that was a lot. But my voice hasn't been the same and I've been like coughing and chesty and oh I sound horrifying. I'm after remembering a black eyed peas memory and that is when they sang when I found out that they were going to be singing Time of My Life on Glee, which is the season two sectionals and Sam and Quinn sing it and the episode is called Oh my god I don't know. When I found out they were singing it on Glee, I thought it was like the Black Eyed Peas version and my parents were horrified that like I thought that this was a Black Eyed Peas song and not from Dirty Dancing. Um, I just did this. I kind of hate it, but I'm not touching it because I like my base and I, oh my God, I look crazy. So this is my makeup. I don't know how to feel, but I'm gonna continue getting ready and drinking my Aperol, the same one, I'm still there. Um, I'm not going to change it because, I'm, like, oh, again, it's this camera. I look nice in the mirror and then I look in the viewfinder and I'm like, she's a mammoth, of course. So I just put on this inside top that I'm wearing to the show and because I didn't want to have to, like, put it on over my hair. Usually I do that and then I, like, have a shit attack because it ruins everything. Okay, so I've just tied my hair up and I'm really into it without the plaits, so I think I'm just gonna leave it. Hmm. What do we think? I kind of like this side more. Oh my God, I'm kind of obsessed. And see, the makeup looks better now, doesn't it? Now that I'm all done up. <laughs> I love it, I love it. I just wanna show the VIP box I got sent with my tickets and stuff. So obviously I've messed it up a bit, it didn't come like this because I've like looked at what's in it and stuff, but it's just this rise line, really sophisticated. And then we have a bucket hat. I'm gonna maybe give that to Matty to wear. And I'm gonna take some glasses. And then we have the little flyer as like a keepsake. And then we have our tickets. I felt so important when I got that sent to me. I was like, oh, influencer. Outfit check.